Hello everybody, today I will try to explain uh, the hardest part of the project and this is uh, how this actually this generator spins the how the rotor spins around the stator to produce electric current you will see, you can see on this image, this is AutoCAD design project uh, so I will explain each part of, of this, uh, let's say shaft mechanism uh, and uh, how did I get uh, each of each of those parts and connect them to, to be able to work in the <laughs> right order to to be used for uh, for our generator? Yeah. And what did, what can you see here? Uh, let's start from below. Uh, like this is let's say from number four. So number four is like the main shaft on which the rotor spins and this will be let's say our main support yeah, like main support and main shaft for the complete generator and you will see now why so what is this part for this is actually part took from a car real axle or car real shaft on which on which are connected the wheels yeah and uh, and the tires yeah you will see now on the image I will now go to the Google and you'll see now what's going on. Yeah? So this is like the car real rear axle. And what do you have to do when you go and uh, when you will buy uh, this like part what we need is you will go to the car graveyard and you will ask like to buy this rear axle. Yeah? And at home, you will cut it somewhere around here, like it, or somewhere around here. It doesn't matter. And you will get this this part. So this part from here to here, this is like uh, this is like our main shaft. Yeah. And if you go back to AutoCAD, you will see this is the 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 top of this shaft. And on this shaft are connected this number three, and this is like the mechanism on which car braking disc is connected and on which it's actually car, car tire yeah, mounted yeah, with the wheel so so let me um, to explain again so if I go back so this is like the car rear axle you will cut it somewhere here you will uh, also disassemble this this braking mechan mechanism yeah and you will get part like over here by part number four which will be longer let's say to, to down if, if you see to down toward toward down and what is what will going to be next yeah uh, so this part three and four you get from the car and and what then yeah then we have part two, which is actu actually a car braking disc. Uh, car braking disc, I will explain now on the image. If I go back to Google and I go to car braking disc, you will see now this. Yeah? And if you see now this image, which shows the car braking disc and the braking mechanism, which is not important to us, but car braking disc, it's on the shaft. And, and this, this part over here, this like brown, part it's it's like the top of our our shaft or axle yeah? and on this is car braking disc and you will see now so 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 this purple part purple part from the AutoCAD yeah, this is number two is actually if, if you now compare it yeah this this holes and, and this image here you will see that I cut this braking disc on this edge, yeah, on this inside edge, yeah, just to have this this part, yeah. So somewhere over here. And what will be this? Yeah, uh, this will be used like our support number two will be used as our support for wings. Yeah, actually on this part will 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 be our wings will spin. Yeah, and you will see how. So let me go to point three again and why this is important so actually on the part three we will connect our two two uh, rotor discs yeah and they are spinning around this axle and how they are spinning yeah 
so we will let's say screw the two disks on this this mechanism over here which is number three which it's uh, drilled some holes on it yeah? and on this mechanism uh, actually rotor spins yeah rotor disks are spinning and uh, let me go back uh, to the image to see or no wait uh, I'll go down so how this actually rotates around this uh, around this shaft yeah so on this on this shaft number four we actually have like uh, conical bearings and I will explain you now why so why this is like conical shape you will see now from the image let me go back here and to the conical bearing and you will now understand yeah so this is like conical shape yeah bearings are on our part four like two of those yeah? one 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 at the bottom and one one at the top and you will see now if I back so so this is the conical bearing and this bearing it's one it's on number four yeah and one it's in number three or 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 at the top of number four and when, when we push this up it will go inside yeah it will go inside and and then then you know then you understand probably when we have bearings this part number three will rotate around this shaft and this is all yeah? this is all this is like our mechanism uh, our spinning mechanism which is solved which is used from a car which can withstand the the very uh, high power yeah? and we don't have to worry about this anymore because if we do that custom made yeah by with the bearings and some custom made it will be more more expensive and it and it would it will not last so long yeah so this is like the point yeah and now you probably understand yeah so this is like the number four is the rear axle of a car yeah? cut it somewhere over here and then we have this this part on, on the top of this uh, axle is like this conical shape yeah on which this mechanism for car spinning goes yeah and this on this is connected the, the car braking disc which is cut it yeah and on this we will weld our wings and of course screw that with the, the screws from the from the wheel yeah yeah from the tire and this is it this is complete mechanism explained uh, how how actually our rotor spins and uh, what we have to buy so we have to buy like complete this part it's it's cheap it you will get this on graveyard from some old car very cheap then you will cut the car braking disc on this on this on this edge at this edge yeah and here I explain the conical bearings just how this rotates actually yeah, around the shaft and this is it thank you for watching if you do not understand I will uh, you will see the details in my project documentation but I explain it very good I think here how this actually works thank you